quiet night here in Santa Fe, but a crowded afternoon as protesters packed the sidewalks here outside the roundhouse. Sky 7 flew over the event as protesters voiced their reasons for being there. Stand up and fight for our freedoms and liberties. They will be taken away from us. Some waved flags while others legally toted their assault rifles. But for the most part, it was peaceful. It was very important to us to not let it get violent here. All we were doing was uh, was heeding the call of the president to stand at our capital. Also making their presence known state police. And while there were certainly some verbal altercations and maybe even a few scuffles, it was nothing like what we saw unfold today in Washington, D.C. This was important for newly elected House Rep Linda Serrato. I think a certain amount of, of civil discourse is part of having a healthy democracy, but what we are seeing on Capitol Hill right now is, is an act of sedition. Both Democrats and Republicans say state police did ask lawmakers working at the Roundhouse today to head home as a precaution just in case things did turn violent. Thankfully for everyone involved, it didn't. Now that protester I spoke with said they had actually been here demonstrating for about three days leading up to what happened today. And he does anticipate that other events like that may continue in the coming days. But for now, reporting in Santa Fe, Brandon Evans, KOAT Action 7 News.